yo guys what's going on welcome back to another video on my channel here now in today's video guys i'm going to be bringing you a full overview of the new kitchen sink packs that were dropped in mlb the show 21 diamond dynasty yesterday in the show shop now i'm going to be breaking down real quick on how much the packs cost and then we're going to start breaking down every player we're not going to do two in-depth breakdowns so i'm just going to kind of go over some big stats and whatnot and then we're going to talk about the card if it's worth it or not depending on your situation and whatnot but pretty much guys that's gonna do it for the intro and also i want to say as well guys i did rebrand i have a new logo and i have a new banner so i just want to give you guys a heads up but anyway let's go ahead let's get into the video all right guys so here we go so we're gonna start off here with the pack price it is thirty thousand studs this is honestly a pass for me you know i don't really like these packs it's just kind of the same with the headliner packs man you know, there is a very high reward here. I mean, you can get this Pedro Martinez if you open one of these headliners, or you can even get another diamond. But the thing is, is that the pack odds are not great. You know, one out of 10 for that 85 plus diamond player, one out of three for even a gold player. So it's very rare that you would get a gold player in this pack. And then for the kitchen sink pack, to be fully honest, man, there's a one in five chance that you get the rare round. And there's, you know, it's basically, I know it's guaranteed a base round, but to be fully honest, I mean, these packs are not amazing, man. And I wouldn't recommend dropping 30,000 subs. That is just too much of a risk to drop on these packs because they could have a very, they could have a very negative effect on your stub count. But if you do end up getting the 95 rare round, if you open two of these and get the rare, congratulations you are just you're amazing you know you're you're an amazing person but i mean if you do get a rare round and a base round in the two packs that you open then you will split even basically but overall these packs are just not worth it for 30 000 stuff there are some good cards in here but it's just not worth it for 30k but now guys we're gonna move in to the breakdowns of each of the players in this pack all right guys so the first player we're gonna break down is gonna be 91 overall diamond starting pitcher for the red Sox, highlighting his 2016 cy young award-winning year it's going to be rick porcello starting pitcher he is a righty in terms of the pitch mix you know that's really the biggest thing we're here for he has a sinker forcing fastball curveball change up in the slider the sinker is a pretty good pitch as well as the slider but he doesn't have a cutter which is something that is i mean it's all right you know not all pitchers can have a cutter but he does have a pretty good pitch mix right here he does have five pitches in terms of the speed differentials these they're not bad you know what i mean you got the four seam at 93 sinker at 92 those are the big hitter pitches and then you have a curveball at 74 which could get a lot of batters out on their front foot and strike out so could be a good pitch to mix in there also his change ups at 80 miles per hour and slider at 86 so you know pretty solid differentials on this card now he does have very good stamina so he can make it deep in the games for you in terms of his pitching control just absolutely amazing sinker at 97 control four seam fastball at 99 control curveball 87 control change up at 99 control and then slider at 89 control and then his pitch break sinker at 75 not great four seam at 90 break you know that's i mean that's whatever that's like a miss stat it's like saying that the two seam fast yeah actually you know i was trying to think of something there it didn't really land but the curveball has 70 break not great change up has 80 break that's pretty solid and then the slider is 85 break which is pretty good i mean overall this card it's not terrible you know what i mean it's not terrible if you want to go if you are a budget player and you need a guy that that can you know be in your rotation get some quality starts for you make it deep in the game so you can save your arms in the bullpen this is not a terrible card if you don't really have any other better pitchers than this you can definitely buy them right now these base cards are currently about you know twelve thousand stubs so not a terrible price i mean overall this card is pretty solid i don't really need him but if you guys need him, you know, definitely go ahead and pick him up. You know, this is not a terrible card. But now, guys, we're going to move on to the next card, which is going to be 90 overall twins. First baseman highlighting his 1977 all-star season. It's going to be Rod Carew. This card, 125, 119 contact, 99 vision. Very similar to the Tony Gwynn team affinity card for the NL West. That's the first card that I thought of because he's a lefty. Amazing contact, amazing vision. Also got good clutch at 110 and you know decent speed at 77 too so i think he's even fat i think he's faster than the tony gwen but biggest problem i have with this card is that he does only have 67 fielding now if you're gonna play him at first base that's completely fine but if you're playing him at second base 
he's going to be a liability there. He's not really going to be the best defensive player. So honestly, I would not pick up this card if you're going to play him at second. If you already have a better first baseman, like I have Jim Tomey at first base. He is an absolute killer of the baseball. So I don't need this Rod Carew. But I mean, you know, if if you need a guy who can maybe hit off the bench and has decent contact and you don't really have any better lefties and you don't want to spend a lot, this card is not terrible. I mean, 12,000 subs, you can get a guy with amazing contact, amazing vision. So really just depends on how you play. Personally, though, I'm going to pass on this card. And I think you should too, unless you need him for like on the bench stuff. So there we go. Next card at 92 overall, Bill Mazeroski, second baseman diamond hitting diamond defense this is without a doubt one of the best or actually he's tied for first in the best value department because he has really good contact 81 weight, you know decent power you know numbers in the high seven in the mid to high 70s very good vision at 101 he's a stud defensively at that 90 to 98 fielding 94 reactions definitely a very good stat right there his quirks he has hitting machine bomber 2020 vision soft hands quick reflexes sniper and bunt master so pretty solid quirks right there honestly this guy he's about you know as i said 12,400 subs he's about 10,000 subs cheaper than the joe morgan and the craig biggio that you can get in the market right now and he's better than both of those guys apart from the speed department i'd say that's the only area where the joe morgan and the craig biggio are better than him is in the speed department but other than that this is a very good card. He beats him in almost every other single category. I mean, if you don't have a better second baseman, pick him up. You know, he's a good card. He's definitely a card that you can use in your lineup. Next, we're going to go over possibly my favorite. Well, actually, it is my favorite card in this entire base round. It's going to be 90 overall. Darren O'Day, prime card for the Orioles. This card, I mean, if you guys know Darren O'Day, he's got that funky release, man. He's got the sidearm release. He was one of the best sidearmers. And I believe I'm with the show like 16, 17. He is just a solid card. Whenever he gets a diamond card every single year, it is a very consistent card. This is a good card and definitely a card you should copy in your bullpen. He's got 106 hit per nine, 117 pitching clutch. Those are good stats. 98K per nine. Really his lowest stat is probably his biggest flaw is, you know, the velocity part and possibly his home run per nine too. But he's a side arming pitcher he has that funky release he's like a submarine pitcher so you know he's definitely going to throw a lot of you know batters off with his sidearm or submarine relief release however you want to call it but this is a very good card you take a look here obviously he's not gonna be throwing too fast i believe he can hit 88 89 on his four seam and a sinker but his control is you know his control is very good man 92 on his slider and four seam 94 on the sinker 72 on the changeup is meh it's not really that great and then pitching break 98 break on a slider 83 on a sinker definitely a very very solid card quirks he's got pressure cooker stingy untouchable control artist grounded knee buckler so very good quirks overall this guy is a very good card. I think you should definitely add him to your team immediately. Once again, he's only going for about 12,000 stubs, and he is just a very solid add to your team. And then the last guy, or the second to last guy out of the base round is going to be 90 overall catcher Travis Darnell for the Braves, highlighting his 2020 Silver Slugger season. 122 contact versus right, 72 contact versus left, 107 power versus righties, 52 power versus lefties. 66 fielding not a great stat here he also does have 62 vision forgot to mention that you know 65 blocking 70 reactions i mean this is not an amazing card quirks he does have pressure cooker so he doesn't even have bomber so this card is just it's not good man i gotta be fully honest <coughs> Yes, he does kill righties with that 122 contact, 107 power mix. But to be honest, he just doesn't hit that well against lefties, which is a big thing for me. I like a really balanced hitter, and he's not really there. Vision is not really there. I mean, who knows? Maybe he has a glitchy swing. I don't know. I mean, he doesn't really have a lot of quirks. Can't really play small at solid defense. So honestly, this card would be a pass for me if I was a budget player, and it should be a pass right there. Next, we're going to go over Honus Wagner, 90 overall diamond card center fielder. Can also play second base in left field. Very good contact, 95, 100. Very good vision at 104. And that's why he does have the diamond hitting stat. Defensively, kind of a reliability here 66 fielding 80 arm strength 72 reactions not really a great card that you would play in the outfield but it does have that 96 speed 78 stealing and also his quirks hitting machine 2020 vision speedster thief pressure cooker and butt master so 
I mean, you could possibly play him at second base or you could play him on the bench as like a pinch runner kind of guy. But honestly, this is, I mean, yeah, I mean, contact is just, it is what it is. You know what I mean? He does have a lot of contact, a lot of vision, but really there's, I think there's just much better outfielders in the game available right now. Now we're going to move into the 95 cards. These, these guys are studs. So the first card is the best card of the entire pack. 95 overall diamond reliever for the Reds, Rob Dibble. This guy is just insane. He is a righty, throws 99 on his four seam, 83 slider, 92 cutters, so pretty good differentials. You know, very good control on his four seam, not, not so much on the slider and cutter, but still serviceable. And then he has great break on his slider and cutter. And if you take a look at the quirk section, you scroll all the way down, he has outlier on his primary, which means he will get up to 102 miles an hour, which is huge for a reliever. He's basically a righty, a roll this Chapman. I mean, this is just a really good card. I mean, amazing hit in K per nine, amazing pitching clutch, really good home run per nine. Obviously, the velocity is there. Really amazing break. This card, in my opinion, is a no doubt cop for 50,000 subs. If you have it, please pick up this card. He is very comparable to the Lee Smith reliever card, which is one of the best in the game. This guy's definitely going to rival him for a long time. Next thing is going to be Harold Baines, 95 overall right fielder for the Chicago White Sox signature series card. 112, 98 contact, 95, 83 power, 107 vision, 100 discipline, 110 clutch. Obviously an amazing hitter. He does have that diamond hitting, but bronze defense really sets him back. This is very similar to another card we're going to show very, very soon. He does have 65 fielding, 62 reactions, 54 speed. So he's not going to be very good in the outfield. Honestly, this card, the most I can see him being is going to be a pinch hitter. I mean, he is a very good hitter, but he just doesn't have the stats defensively. So that's where I stand on that. Next card, 95 overall, Justin Verlander. You see right here, 100 stamina, 115 pitching clutch. Very good hit in K per nine. He's got the break as well at 94, decent control at 86. And, you know, you see his pitch mix here, four seam circle change, 12 curve slider, four seam can come in at 99 miles an hour. You have the circle change, 12, six and slider all coming in under 90 miles per hour. So pretty good differentials there. In terms of his control, you know, kind of lacks with the other pitches other than the four seam and the slider. Circle chain 78, 12, 6, 68. So, you know, not really good control on the curveball. And then for his pitching break, 12 to 6 at in 94 break, which is pretty solid. Slider at 90, 89. Circle change at 87. And that's pretty much like all she wrote for this card. You also have, you know, pretty good quirks, special cooker, workhorse, stingy, untouchable, grounded, cheesy, and illusionist. So not a terrible card, but once again, I'm not going to pick up this card just because I have a little bit better pitchers in my team right now. Also, the, the pitch mix really just kind of disappoints me. I don't know. It's just he doesn't have a sinker, doesn't have a, you know, he doesn't have a cutter. And... You know, I mean, I don't know. It's just the control loss on the 12-6 is not great. So not a great card right here. And the last card, this is one of the big boys here. It's going to be Adam Dunn, 95 overall first baseman, highlighting the fact that he's in the 400 home run club with 462 career home runs for the Chicago White Sox. This guy is built like a freaking Ford truck, man. 6'6", 285. He's a big boy. He's got 8470 for his contact, 122, 110 for his power. So once again, he's he's gonna be hitting dingers for you, man. He's gonna be hitting dingers. He's built like a Ford truck. Thank you, Gomes, by the way, for that reference. He also has 58 vision, 125 discipline, so he can work the walk if he wants to. If you have the discipline, then he has the discipline. Now, in terms of his fielding, 65 fielding, 61 reactions. He does have the arm strength at 88, and he also has 55 speed. So, really, this card is at max a first baseman. And I already have Jim Tomey, as I mentioned before, so I don't really need this card. But if you're looking for a first baseman who can hit absolute tanks, missiles, the Adam Dunn is going to be your guy. He has the bomber card as well. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash a like, a stretch miss five likes. Try to go over all the cards as quickly as I could and give you my opinion on them. But guys, take care. But most importantly, stay classy.